हेलो एस टी बी एंस वेलकम अगेन टू द ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ एस टी बी ए इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव लर्न अबाउट लिविंग थिंग्स एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स एंड फीचर्स ऑफ लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स एंड अबाउट एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट बोथ बट इन दिस क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एनिमल्स एंड ह्यूमन बींग्स and difference between animals and human beings so let's start human beings are classified as belonging to the animal kingdoms students do you know what about animal kingdom animal kingdom include animals and human beings both animal kingdom is the one of sixth kingdoms in the natural world and contains lots of species of animals and human beings animals are heterotrophic they must eat food or they are multicellular multicellular means they are made of many cells 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 are the structural unit of animals and living beings means and human beings students if animal kingdom include animals and human beings both so how we can do difference between them yes we can do from their external feature think think about the shape of animal size and the shape of human being guys their mouth their walking style their legs their mouth the brain students human being have not tail and horns but animals have tail and horns both so students our first point is human being walk in upright position upright position means human stood erect with his arms by his sides this leaves their upper limbs free to do many things human beings have a thumb and can use their hands to hold any tool and do many things animals such as gorilla apes chimpanzee monkeys have similar feature with human being they have five fingers five toes or five finger nails or toe nails of claws they to walk upright and use their upper limbs but not as much as human beings do animals such as chimpanzees gorilla apes and human beings which have thumbs toes or front facing eyes are known as primates primate primate means are group of a mammals that includes some of well developed animals or species there are 300 types of mammals or species of primates these different types have many physical features in common the other animals walk on four limbs they don't have free limbs to hold anything they don't have thumb or a well developed hand to hold any tool and eat food from their hands they eat their food from direct their mouth we can take example of zebras lion cow goat sheep human beings are the only animal that can sleep on their back because of their backbone human being have another advantage of their backbone they can bend stoop easily but other animal cannot do from the advantages of backbone a human being can walk on their two limbs very properly and walk in upright position but other animals cannot do their backbone can bend 
forward, backward, sideways very easily. So our next point is what are the differences between communication of animals and human beings? The languages of human being both written as well as spoken are well developed. Human beings can speak many languages and animals also make themselves understood in some ways. They also communicate. In animals, we can take example of whale. Whale produce different type of noise to indicate many things and different things. And some animal make whistling sound. Students, do you know blue whale is the biggest animal on the earth that produces deafening or a booming sound that is louder than the sound of heavy gunfire. Bees do a kind of dance, a vehicle dance to inform other bees where, in which direction and what form or how much juice or nectar available. Students, there are thousand of languages spoken in the world and thousand of words in each language. Around the world, there are 70,000 distinct languages are spoken today. Now we will discuss about brain of human being. Human being have a well developed brain that they can think, reason out and do many things that animals cannot do. The human being have most advanced brain, well developed brain but a newborn human being baby are the most helpless, have the longest infancy means childhood so they have taken care for a long time it means as the child grows their brain develops in animals a deer a baby deer has to stand up and run within minute to being born it other thing that it will be eaten to other tigers and animals Animals to take care to their babies, it is called parental care. Animals to take care with their babies, example, a female tiger will not let yet anyone come near her cubs. Birds feed and taken care to their chicks till they learn to fly. Human beings take care of their child to teach them to speak write read and many other things so students we have discussed about animal kingdom that includes animals and human beings both and about their upright position and they known as primates about their backbone about their communication and their brain and parental care of human being and animals now it's time to recall each and everything so students animal kingdom animal kingdom includes human beings and other animals both human beings walk in upright position human beings have more developed brain to speak and write in many languages human beings use their upper limbs or hands to hold many things and do other activities now we will discuss about other animals other animals have not brain as well developed as human beings generally they use all their limbs and walk on limbs certain apps that have some similarities with human beings so students let's start some practice work human being walk in this position 
upright. I told you what is upright position? That human stood erect with his arms, with his sides. Second is a large app. Gorilla. Gorilla is known as large app. Third is this animal has a long neck. We all know giraffe has a long neck. Do you know a newborn giraffe about 1.8 meter? It means 6 feet tall and also can run up to 52 kilometer per hour, 1 hour after its birth. Fourth one is human being communicate in many languages. Fifth and the last one is animals such as chimpanzee and gorillas have these instead of claws. Answer toys, nails. So students, I hope you all will read and revise this chapter very carefully. Thank you.